Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to The Smoke Report. I'm your host, Jay Todd, and we are going to have us a good show this week. On our last program, I told you all about an exploding e-cigarette that seriously injured a Florida man. Now, the press had a field day reporting how this seemingly defective device caused the man to lose several teeth and part of his tongue. I must admit hmm, that uh, the story upset me a lot. You see, I review and recommend e-cigarettes on this show. And the thought that I could have condoned a product which could seriously injure someone pissed me off. But now, as time has gone by, and more has been learned about the uh, <clears throat> victim of this accident, the mainstream media has fallen eerily silent. But I won't be silent. The e-cigarette in question was modified. In other words, this guy dismantled a device and tried to alter how it worked by either adding more batteries or bigger batteries. It's still kind of fuzzy. Whatever the case, the result was the same. Boom. Now, uh, don't get me wrong, my friends. I feel bad for the guy. The penalty for modifying an electronic cigarette should not be having half your face blown off. And if that e-cigarette had been found to be defective, you would hear it from me first. Well, what this guy did is the equivalent of souping up your car's motor with a turbo or nitrous oxide. If you don't know what you're doing, you're going to blow up your ride, okay? And it's not the fault of the auto manufacturer if you don't know what you're doing and start screwing with things. We're going to talk more about e-cigarette safety right after this. of the 21st century, the SafeSig electronic cigarette. The SafeSig implements an innovative flow sensor to instantly turn itself on and off, eliminating the need for any power buttons. Since it's not real smoke, the vapor is virtually odorless, and it won't smell up your hair or stain your teeth. For more information or to order now, please visit our website, www.thesafesig.com, or call our toll-free number, one 866 9972332 you must be 18 to order so uh <clears throat> on our last show i said that if the e sig that exploded was found to be defective then perhaps it was time to consider regulation of the e-cigarette industry. Now, some of you took issue with that statement, saying that we already have too much government in our lives, and I couldn't agree more. The feds have their hands in way too much already, but we know self-regulation won't work, right? I mean, I doubt private oversight of any kind would be really trustworthy so what's the answer? Really, I think the point is moot. The government will end up regulating the e-cigarette industry. You can take that to the bank. You know, Uncle Sam will. The truth is, we don't always know what's in our e-cigarettes. That could be a problem. I am all for your right to smoke. You know that. I'm out here defending your rights every other week but at least my friends you know what's in tobacco products you know what could happen to your body I simply believe you should have the same rights with these cigarettes you have the rights to know what's in these things if it comes to light that they're made from goat piss and camel hair and you still want to smoke them I'll defend your right to do so but we live in a society where we know more about what's in our hot dog wieners than we do about e-cigarettes. Not all of them, but some of them. 
This particular e-cigarette is called a Snoke brand disposable. Now, I'm reviewing this to show you I've got no hard feelings or animosity toward the e-cigarette industry at all. I just want accountability and responsibility and for people to quit modifying their e-cigarettes. These little beauties are made in Germany under strict criteria with pharmaceutical grade ingredients. They are subject to, to the International Organization for Standardization to meet customer satisfaction and current standards. So you see, I'm not picking on the e-cigarette guys. I just want you all to be as safe as possible. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in two weeks on The Smoke Report. Supposed to be, supposed to be my